Hello and finally welcome back to the channel. Um, it has been a while and this video is kind of going to be explaining everything, what's been going on and yeah just a few bits and bobs and I am also going to be free jumping my horses so I thought I'd make a video out of it because when I posted it on my Instagram quite a few times back it did quite well, people seemed quite interested so I thought I would may as well do a video on it. I have got Max today, I have Max on Wednesdays just so happens I'm filming it on a Wednesday um he is being a bit of a pain today, aren't you? <laughs> He's laughing. Um, <coughs> He's got a cough. I swear it's not COVID. He is. You've had a little COVID test, haven't you, Maxie? Yeah, he has. Um, and he hasn't got COVID. He's just coughing on stop. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. Um, anyway, updates. If you can't tell... You might be able to see it. I have got makeup on and I tried to cover it up, but I've got a black eye. Um, Kira whacked me one in the face, just completely out of the blue. I didn't even think I was anywhere near her. And she completely went upwards and whacked my eyebrow bone. And yeah, it was quite traumatic, really. It really was quite painful and I couldn't see for about five minutes. Um, so that wasn't fun, but that is just Kira for me. Kira is a bit unpredictable. I am multitasking right now, hence these awkward angles. Let me put you down a minute so you can see me. Max is trying to run over my feet with a bike. Um, so, yes, anyway, I'm grabbing some bridles for free jumping because obviously I do lunge them first a little bit. Um, I need to set it all up. I've got quite a lot to do. Hopefully Max is going to hold off and behave, but God knows. So, bridle-wise... I'm going to bring Robbie's, Pixie's, and probably, oh, Rossi's as well. Rossi's tiny head. Rossi might, Rossi doesn't really need a bridle, to be fair. He might behave in a head collar because he's so little. But I will also bring a bridle for Phoenix and Kira to share. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically going to free jump, uh... Don't know who I'm doing first yet, I haven't really decided. But Robbie, Pixie and Rossi, definitely, just because... Oh, I haven't explained about Pixie. Pixie, basically, um, the other day I was riding her and I will show you in a minute, but there's a big black like pipe thing, which we kind of use as a pole, in the middle of the field next to the house. And she spooked at it, cantered off, nearly put me in a hedge. Didn't quite, so we slammed into the hedge unseated me a little bit because she's four she turned around she couldn't deal with that um and bronked and bronked and bronked and eventually i came off so i've got oh i didn't realize i was double layered I've got scabs they were all down there but it is kind of healing it was over a week ago now and then i did all my leg in well it's not that bad but at the time it wasn't fun um so yeah it's been a bit of a bad week with the horses to be honest and then Maxie, there's a builder near and he won't leave him alone and he doesn't want to speak to Max. Maxie, stop it. He doesn't want to speak to you. Um, Maxie, wait. He's gone. I don't really like filming in front of people, especially people that you know are going to judge you, but whatever. Um, what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, so that was that. And then we've had hell on with Robbie. He's been breaking out his stable, we have to put clips on it all the time and I am quite forgetful with things like that because um, I don't usually have to do that, obviously. He breaks out of the fields to get to the mares. He's just been a bit of a pain. So we decided we were going to keep Robbie and Duncan together. So we put them in the field next to the house and I will show you what Robbie did to the gate. He bashed straight through it, just ran straight through it and you won't know my house setup obviously but if you go over the road it leads onto loads of fields and he just went running down and down fields and it took me ages to find him um and to catch him because he's not particularly good to catch <laughs> oh and there's also my black pipe in the middle of the field that's what pixie spooked at 
Right, I'm gonna go over the road and then I'll carry on explaining and start setting everything up. Right. So I am now over the road, currently with Phoenix. I don't know what you're doing, babe. Um, yeah, I don't know if, I, honestly, I've got so much to tell you that I'm like overwhelmed. I don't even know what I'm saying and I feel like I'm spurting off complete junk. Um, but definitely free jumping, Robbie, Pixie and F Rossi. I keep getting Robbie and Rossi really mixed up. Um, but yeah, definitely free jumping them three. Um, Robbie, because he hasn't left the ground since his old owners obviously he is not ready to jump on the saddle so it'll do him good and probably wear him out a bit he's so full of beans and just so naughty at the moment so probably do him good pixie i've only jumped once since i haven't jumped her in ages so i'd kind of like to take that fizz off her before i then jump her again and obviously with what she did about a week ago she is a bit wild at the moment okay one minute i'll be over I've set, oh god, Robbie's picking up poles. Um, I've set Max up there, he's not actually in with Robbie, it looks like he is, he's on the other side of the fence. He's got a towel and he's got a bag of snacks, so he should be nice and happy. Robbie's picking up that white thing. He's so, he's honestly, he's so mischievous. Phoenix, I am definitely lunging. I will see how she is to lunge because she came out a little bit lame uh, yesterday. Well, I don't know if I'd go as far as lame, but yeah, not quite right. So if she's lame again to lunge, obviously I won't free jump her, but I would quite like to free jump her if she's sound, obviously, um, because that, because she's just come back into work after, obviously she was lame for a while. I think I did tell you all that. Um, and she was, I jumped her for the first time in ages a few days ago and she was just wild, she was so excited. So again, to try and take that edge off a bit, it just does them good and it's just something a bit more fun for them. So yeah, and then Kira, I will do if I get time, um, mainly because she needs work and I can't obviously ride while I've got Max and also why not, she enjoys it. So yeah, but I won't go mental with Kira and if, if Max is being a really good boy and he lets me just get on with it, I will do Duncan. So it might be all six, might be four. We will see how we go. Um, but yeah, so first one I'm probably going to do. Robbie is going to do last in case he breaks everything, but he's in that field. So I think I might do him first. Um, so I'm going to set it up. Also, quickly, I am going to be more active now. Sorry, I haven't been active, basically. I have got two vlogs pretty much ready to go up but there is just some footage on my boyfriend's phone and it will not export. I've emailed it and it comes through blurry as heck like I'm not using that and we've tried airdropping so many times it goes to send and then last minute delete so we're currently sorting out that issue. Hopefully it will be sorted and I can get... I thought it was my gate then and Duncan's by the gate. Oh God. Um, and yeah, hopefully that'll be sorted. I can get them two videos up. One of them's the what I take eventing, which I know you all wanted. And I also took Duncan eventing, which I haven't even, Phoenix, I haven't even updated on my Instagram, um, but I did. And he was really good, but I'm gonna save that for the YouTube now because I feel like I kind of missed the chance to put that on my Instagram. Um, so I'm gonna wait for you to see it on my YouTube account. Um, and then also, what videos have I got coming up? We're getting back out competing. I also haven't really done anything competing or anything for about a month, only that event on Duncan. Um, so there hasn't really been a whole lot to film. So yeah, it's just been a bit of a quiet, boring month. It's took time to get the youngsters settled in. They've all been a bit wild, hence it's just been a bit hectic. And then I've had the problems with exporting all my videos. So I'm gonna hopefully get this video out soon when I'm filming this. And then I have got them two videos ready to come out. It's my birthday in about two weeks, so there should be a nice tack haul coming your way. And we've got area show jumping, area eventing, and some BE events coming up. So the event vlogs will be back in force. So yeah, I've got loads coming up. But anyway, I think this intro has been so long. It's been like eight minutes long, which is way too long. Um, I have just been blabbering and blabbing. So I am going to set up my free jumping now. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I probably won't film me setting it up just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go set that up and get these horses going. So it's now all set up. I've just used cones and some spare wire that we have to like set up the chute thing. And then that's there and it obviously can be made into an oxer. So basically all I do is I've got a 
long whip here, not too long, but long enough. And Robbie is the most awkward one, but I just chase them till they get into the chute and then they usually will just go. Robbie probably won't, I'll probably still have to follow him a bit. And then they jump that. So I might struggle to get camera angles, especially on the naughtier ones. But yeah, I'll see how it goes. See what I can show you. I won't video me filming Robbie. No, lunging Robbie, I mean. Mainly because he's a bit of a brute. He's quite naughty to lunge. So yeah, I'm gonna get on, see how it goes. So Robbie's now over there causing trouble in with Duncan. Duncan hates him. Duncan bullies him. But Robbie was really good, so I've now got my next victim, which is Pixie. I'm just letting her have a wander around a minute. Um, and then I'll pick her up. Right, so that is the two four-year-olds. I think they're both four, yeah. I keep getting Pixie so young because she's like further on than little Rossi. Rossi's five. Um, yeah, I just keep getting that she's so young. She's not, she's not dragging me out to the She's not used to be leaning led on the wrong side. Be careful. But yeah, Pixie was really good. She finished on about a 110, 115 oxer. Um, yeah, she's really good. I know that she's got the ability anyway. Robbie was also quite good. Um, a little bit argu more argumentative to start with and I had to chase him every time whereas Pixie got to a point where she was taking herself round. Just a bit more obedient, tiny Pix. Um, yeah, I'm chucking Pixie out now because they're all getting a bit shouty and rowdy. We don't usually have all six over together. Um, but sometimes it needs must and they need to just grow up a little bit. Stop being so obsessive. So next up is Kira before she trashes that barn. Um, I don't really want to trashing it. So I'm going to go and grab her next and then probably little Rossi or maybe Phoenix. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to do everyone but Duncan providing Phoenix isn't lame. So yeah, I'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go and grab Miss Knightley now. If only Kira would go backwards. Kira's just being the biggest idiot. Kira's setting everyone off, aren't you? Look at them too. They're not being too bad, to be fair. Kira! Right, that is now Kira done. Kira was the biggest idiot, as always. Um, she was just more focused on belting around than jumping the fences and trying not to get to the fences. So I'm going to pop her out now and then next time I'm going to have Phoenix because she's just doing everyone's heading. I don't know if you've heard in any of the videos. Hello. Yes, she is. Um, but she's just neighing and neighing like crazy. Also, my battery might die, so if the intro is done at home, that will be why. But I'll see how we go. <laughs> she looks a little bit short. I don't know if you can tell. So I'm not going to go mental with her. Um, She'll probably just do it the other way quickly and that might do her. Phoenix, come on! Come on, Fee! <coughs> Phoenix is quite obedient, really. She kind of takes herself around. The only reason I haven't not brought her out full stop is because this lameness, it is like self-inflicted. I don't know how to explain it. Um, she isn't genuinely as lame. Like, she shouldn't be lame. She's checked over so often. She is just a sensitive drama queen. Hence, we don't kind of bring her out of work too much um otherwise she just gets worse and worse it's kind of mind over matter with phoenix a little bit so i'm going to put it into a little straight and that'll do her just to get her out and doing something really she's not in great pain um she is okay aren't you fee she just takes herself around bless her come on fee that'll do phoenix so good to do this with. So I now have last one out, Rossi. I am just going to readjust the fence because obviously Rossi will not be going anywhere near as high 
as the others because he's quite quite a bit smaller. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make it to crossbow quick because it's still how Phoenix had it, and then we'll get to him done. Oh boy, this is his first time ever doing it. So it's more just trying to get in there, isn't it, Rossi? Oh boy. So that is now all the horses done. I shouldn't have put makeup on. It wasn't the day to be putting makeup on when I'm running around. Um, but oh well, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. You were the worst one, weren't you, Rossi? Not bad. He wasn't bad in any way. Just I had to chase him around every single time, didn't I? Yes. But you finished over a decent Oxford for his size. I don't think I managed to get it on film because I was literally having to chase him around. Um, if I tried to let him go for the tiniest bit, he'd just turn around and go the other way. So I did have to really be there for you, didn't I? But so there won't be loads of footage. And obviously Phoenix, I didn't do too much with. Um, so Ross is now in. The boys all stay in at night because they're quite grass greedy and they like to break out. They're quite mischievous, this lot. So I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, I'm hoping it has supplied you with an update and you kind of understanding why I took not a break but why there hasn't been uploads for about three or four weeks um and it should hopefully be coming back fingers crossed I can let them videos back but if not we've got lots of competitions coming up for me to film so they will be coming won't they Rossi yes um so yeah I think I'm gonna leave this video here um please like comment and subscribe it really helps out and it's really lovely to like talk to you um and speak to you in the comments isn't it yeah if you have any video suggestions also do let me know and yeah hopefully this is kicking the channel back off again and we'll get back on a roll but yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye